Starting with this release, you can use warehouse putaways for production output. Means you can use the same warehouse processes in, as in other receipts. Uh, it is especially important for locations where directed putaway and pick is enabled, because they don't have any putaway logic. For other locations, it's also possible to use warehouse uh, putaways to align with other areas of application. Let's see the demo. In a location card page, you can select the warehouse putaway option in the production output warehouse handling field. For the locations with directed putaway and pick, only two options are available no warehouse handling, and warehouse put-away. For other locations, you can also use inventory put-aways. Let's investigate the impact of that setting. You can see the release production order for the manufacturing of six coffee makers. In the production journal, start by posting two units. Repeat this action to post the remaining quantity of four units. Consequently, all six units will have been posted. Navigate to the warehouse activity lines where you can see two put away documents generated automatically during posting. That behavior is controlled by the use put away worksheet toggle in the location car page. Let's open the first put away and perform partial register. Then we delete it. And we also open the second one where you can see quantity for and delete it as well. Navigate to the put away worksheet from which we can also create put aways for production order. Let's do it for partial quantity. Return to the production order and change its status to finished. Navigate to the finished production order from which the creation of warehouse put away for the remaining quantity can be triggered. This action is also available in the release production order. Next, navigate to the warehouse putaways, where the one created from the putaway worksheet and the one created for the remaining quantity from the finished production order can be seen. We can also review already registered putaways. What about picking? In this release, you can pick more raw materials than originally requested for production order. For example, the warehouse team decided to send the whole box instead of uh, picking the exact quantity. Uh, then you can decide what to do with extra surplus. Maybe you return it back to the warehouse, or maybe you can use it for next production order. For the latter, there is a new flushing method, which can be very useful. Let's see the demo. The release production order for the manufacturing of four coffee makers is available. In the components page, raw materials have different flushing methods. A new value, pick plus manual, replaces the old manual method. The manual flushing method remains, but it now behaves differently and does not require picking anymore. This change is consistent with existing backward and forward flushing methods and provides additional flexibility. To enable manual to operate in this manner, activate the capability in feature management. Additionally, a new field, Allow Warehouse Over Pick, is visible in the item card. Create Warehouse Pick and open it. Notice that Coffee Filter Basket with Manual Flushing Method is not there as it should already be on the open shop floor. We will send full boxes of switches and adjustable feet to production. We cannot do that for the housing as Allow Warehouse Over Pick is off for this item. Register pick and open production journal. You'll see the item with manual flushing method ready to be posted, as well as the adjustable foot and housing. We don't see switch as it will be flushed automatically via routing link code. Now let's try to change quantity. You can increase the quantity of coffee filter basket since there are plenty in the open shop floor bin and you control consumption. You cannot adjust the quantity for housing as it was picked exactly. You can change the quantity for the adjustable foot because we picked more than needed. What to do with the switch on off 
that uses the pick plus backwards flushing method. Add a line manually in the consumption journal and specify the bin code. Or add a new component line with a manual flushing method. Ensure the correct bin code is used. The line will then appear in the production journal. If you want to return overpicked item to warehouse, navigate to the movement worksheet page and choose the return overpick quantity action. Thank you for watching. You can find more details about these capabilities in the release notes. Also remember to watch other videos about enhancements about manufacturing. You can find links in the description.